Hey, it's Joseph here. Okay, another box from StarTech. They have provided me this product sample for me to unbox and showcase to you and perhaps describe about its use case scenarios, which I am planning to show on this video. Well, in order to do that, we're gonna have to open it up. Okay, box inside the box. It is made by StarTech as we have discussed and it is Thunderbolt 3 USB-C dual 4K 60Hz docking station, 8K display port 1.4 HDMI PD, which is power delivery. It sounds like a lot of numbers. Basically, it is a docking station for you to connect via Thunderbolt 3 cable. And then it is able to push out display to multiple monitors with display ports and HDMI port. So let's get to the main bit. Oh, by the way, it does say three year warranty on it. So that is good to have as well as understanding that this is a quality part. There is the thing that we were looking for. It's got some ports to it. We'll get to that, but let's get through the rest of the content. Here is a manual and then a couple of other cables. And this is seemingly Thunderbolt 3 port. So that is going to be the cable that we're gonna use to connect our laptop. And then here is the power cable for a different country. And then this one is one that is meant for me since it's US. Simply connect to my desk so that I can later power it up. And then here is the brick. It's kind of weird that you've got two different boxes. One is the main thing that lives on top of your desk, and this one could live under your desk, if you will. And this is to output 170 watt. Let's close it back up. And then I need to undo these plastics. So let's talk about a bit of use case scenario for this device over here. On the webpage of StarTech, it is listed as $337.99 for this device. So it is definitely not cheap, but there's a ton of features that offers you the things that you need, especially now day and age where you're using laptops at home and the office. And if you have a dock like this, then you can connect many different devices, including dual monitor. So let's cover all the ports over here. So here, this is the front portion. You see the power LED and then the Thunderbolt port that you're gonna connect your laptop to. Here you see USB type C, 10 gigabytes per second, continued power so you can continue charging different devices. And also 10 gigabyte per second USB type A port that is continued power as well. Here is the headphone jack and on its side, it's got some grill for air ventilation perhaps as the device gets hot. And on the other side, there is a Kensington lock if you wanna lock that up. And then on the back, it has the ethernet port, five gigabyte per second, USB-A, another one over here, and then USB type C, 10 gigabits per second, and then display ports, HDMI, display port, HDMI, and power. And this is an important bit. So you cannot have four displays connected, rather you're gonna be occupying one of these, and then one of these to output the display. And it is good to have, because a lot of times you may have different configuration on the monitor, it may not have display port, it may not have HDMI port that can carry 4K signal. So it is good to have different options. Here it kind of says it, video one is this one, and then video two, this one. So just make sure when you're connecting your display, you're not connecting both of them at the same time on this side, rather you wanna stagger it like this. Got it. And then on the bottom of the device, here is the rubber pads. And I suppose you have this mounting point for you to mount this device somewhere, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. And on top, it's just a black finish with the StarTech.com logo. So that is pretty much it. The outside feels metallic. I can't say for certain. It may actually be plastic as well, but overall professional looking. The first thing in order would be the power. Obviously I've got this cable connected to my desk 
And then the other side is where it gets connected to the dock itself. So on the back, there is one port that I can just connect it to. And as soon as I do that, there is an LED light that is coming on to let you know it has been powered. Here is the Thunderbolt port that was included with the package. And I can just connect the other end onto the laptop. And then I can connect a bunch of other things behind here. But what's most important is the display. So let me go ahead and connect a couple of displays to make sure it is working. Okay, now I have connected both of the displays on the back via HDMI ports thinking that it might be the connection that you guys have and then Thunderbolt on the other side and then simply whip out my laptop and then connect on there and as soon as you do that I'm expecting it to be charging you can kind of see it on the LED light that is coming on and then as I open up my laptop okay so as you can see you've got two monitors that is being mirrored off of this screen so let me go ahead and actually make it into the extended mode so go into display settings and then go down over here and then instead of duplicating i just extend onto there and as you can see you can see the three different monitors it is showing i can drag this one down here so that the two other monitors are actually being extended apply that so let me show you what I've got. So here, let me go ahead and do the identify. So this is number one, two, three. So I need to arrange this so that it is configured like that. Identify one, two, three, good. And I need to make sure that one is actually set to 1440p screen, keep the changes. It's good that you can actually do all of this with finger rather than the mouse so this one is the 1920 by 1200 resolution and then I got one two three let's see if all of that is working one two three all right obviously once you actually get the keyboard and the mouse set up on here you would probably tuck this laptop onto a corner so that you got one small display over here and then the rest of the displays are used over here. So that's probably how I would go about in terms of setting up the laptop on my desk. So now we have tested the power and then all the displays. Let's test out some of the ports. I got a ton of electronics in the house, so I always need to charge up AA, AAA batteries. So I just use this simple device where I just have it like so and then use a short cable like this one over here connect to the device and then connect to the dock and you can see that it is being charged or if you want to connect the data onto your device I can just put a simple USB-C cable like this one over here and then onto the back and it is now being connected with my laptop so now I can transfer the data as well so this means that as you arrive to your desk, whether it be your office or home with a laptop, connect it up, it is going to charge your laptop and then power onto two different monitors as an extra on top of the screen that you have on your laptop. So that is going to be helpful in terms of having one cable that gets connected to your laptop and the setup is so easy. So if this video was useful for you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos again. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.